that welcome to my fourth week weigh-in and update. Yesterday um, I completed my fourth full week of being on keto and today is February 29th. It's a Monday, it's leap year, and it marks the end of my first month of keto, um, this full month of February, and it's the start of a new week of um, week number five for me. And I'm really excited to celebrate the progress that I've made this month and to show you guys what happened this morning on the scale. I was really pumped to weigh myself. Last week I could feel so many changes in my body. I could just feel that fat was burning and it felt so good. I could just feel that my jeans were feeling lighter. Actually a huge non-scale victory for me. Um, yesterday I pulled out a pair of jeans right when I started keto, I was um, wearing size 20 jeans, and I would like to wear like Old Navy type, if that gives you a frame of reference. I know there's different sizes for different stores, but like an Old Navy size 20, and I have a size 18, and so I pulled those out um, also from Old Navy, and I was able to put them on, and they felt pretty good, uh, maybe like the tiniest bit snug, like I still had a little bit of like a muffin top, but still... Um, I didn't have to like suck it in or anything like they just zipped right up buttoned and I could feel it and you know in the size 20 jeans I could take those off without even having to unbutton them um, they definitely are feeling looser so um, so anyway I'll cut right to it and show you guys what happened on the scale this morning and last week just to remind you I weighed in at 278.4 pounds um, so you can see what happened this morning <laughs> So you might be a little surprised um, considering that I just told you that I felt better. You know, I felt excited to get on the scale this morning and I actually gained 0.4 pounds. Um, so, you know, it was a little bit surprising for me too. However, um, I am um, on my menstrual cycle right now, which I know affects a lot of people during keto. And I just don't feel that discouraged by it. I think having that um, non-scale victory of putting on the next size down in jeans yesterday really just makes me feel so good. I know that my body is changing and I feel like I'm doing, making the right choices. So um, even though I saw that on the scale, I, I didn't feel discouraged really, which is a blessing. I feel really glad because maybe before I would have, um, but I know that you can't always just focus on the scale victories. And so um, when I look at the whole month, I've lost a total of 13.4 pounds. I started um, at 292.2 .2, and now I'm at 278.8 and I just feel awesome about that. You know, I bypassed the 80s and now I'm in the 70s and I feel very confident that by the end of next month, at the end of March, I will be in the 260s. And that is my goal for uh, March. I actually want to lose 15 pounds. So I made, I came really close to that this month and I feel like my body's adjusting to being in that nutritional ketosis state and I feel confident that I'll be able to even burn more. And there's a couple extra days in March, which doesn't hurt either. <laughs> um, I'll take them. So I'm just really looking forward to seeing what happens next month. Um, that would put me at 263.8 pounds if I were able to lose 15 pounds. And we'll see what happens. I, I feel really good about it. This week I have a goal of just focusing on healthier fats. I finally bought some avocado oil and I cooked with it for the first time today when I had lunch. Um, I have made it with some salmon and it tasted really good. Um, so I'm excited to use that more. Definitely incorporating um, coconut oil already. I was doing that, uh, but even more so um, just being aware of that. And I'm still having dairy for sure, um, but I just want to be very aware of how much each day with the amounts of cheeses that I put on meals, things like that. So that's something that I'm focusing on. I, I think I might go ahead and buy one of those glucometers. I still haven't done it, but maybe that's something that I will start doing in March. But right now I just feel different. This past week, um, I definitely did not get quite as much sleep either and I know that makes a difference because your body burns fat while you're sleeping in that ketosis state so that definitely makes a difference. I was out of town staying up late visiting and chatting with my sister um, so you know it, it that's fine. I did find uh, being out of town and traveling. Um, I did take a couple quest bars which was helpful 
for the drive, uh, things like that. And I packed my own meals, but it was very easy and it wasn't really a burden. Uh, I feel like it's been a really easy month and I'm really excited for month two. So I hope that you're staying encouraged. One other thing I really wanted to mention was um, as I was preparing for my cycle this month, or yeah, this past week, you know, it dawned on me that a lot of people do use keto for um, trying to conceive and get pregnant. And although I'm not currently um, trying to get pregnant, my husband and I are not preventing pregnancy either. I do have a 10 month old and, uh, but my cycles are regular and it will be interesting to share with you all if, if that, if pregnancy does happen. And so I plan to share that. Um, obviously I got my cycle this month, so I'm not pregnant, but it did come early, which was different for me. Um, it came like three or four days early. And so that was a pretty short cycle. It was only 26 days. And so that's very unusual for me. I, I normally at least go 28 days. Um, so I read online that that was a common, um, side effect of keto especially in the first month or two. So anyway, stay tuned, you know, we'll see what happens with that. I'm not, um, definitely not going to be disappointed if I get pregnant. I would be more than happy to have another baby. Um, so, so anyway, just if you guys have ever, um, been on keto and gotten pregnant or done keto while pregnant, I would like to hear about that. I watched one blog. Um, I forget the name of her. I did subscribe to her, but I forget it right now. She's actually not even pregnant, but she just talked about how she believes it would be okay to stay on keto while pregnant. It could be hard while having nausea, but um, but anyway, I would love to get some feedback because if that were to happen, I would still want to continue keto and um, would like to know if that's worked for you. So, uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys next week and um, yeah, stay tuned for what happens next. Thanks so much for your support. It really means so much to me. Um, I've loved this first month and I can't wait to share um, and keep sharing what's happening in my life. Thanks.